What's up, everybody? DJ Bucky here, looking at a big matchup, Buck, in the NFC West. These games are always closely contested when you get the rivals going. You got the Seahawks traveling to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah, this is a bitter rivalry as one where it's kind of flipped in recent years with the Rams kind of taking over control. But I love to see the matchup. And when we think of this matchup, it's all about the perimeter. Wide receivers for the Seahawks taking on the Rams cornerbacks. Well, it feels like forever the Seahawks have kind of had this no-name group of wide receivers. Now you're starting to see them make some plays and finally get a little bit of respect here. Jerron Brown working here in the slot, going to motion against the Chargers. This is a third down play. Looks like he's going to crack and then comes out, runs a corner out. It's not there again. This is the initial play with, the, with Russell Wilson. You have to account for extending the play, being able to cover that secondary route, stay plastered as we like to say. Now you get a chance. This is a first down play call with Doug Baldwin against Michael Davis. Guys have played a lot of football for the Chargers. They're going to see that matchup with a single high safety. It's just a simple takeoff route on first down, play action. Lots of air on the deep ball from Russell Wilson. Baldwin with a little, little gentle nudge there at the top of the route to create some separation. You get a big play on first down. And then now you get a chance to see David Moore, who has been an emerging young wide receiver, former seventh round pick, and they love to throw back shoulder fades. He caught three of these back shoulder fades against the Detroit Lions, one of those right there for a touchdown. Didn't get him as involved as I thought they would last week against the Chargers. I think they fixed that, try and get him very involved against the Rams. I think that has to be a priority. They have to get those guys involved. Look, their running game has really carried them, but they're going to have to make some plays in the passing game to be able to score with the Rams. For the Rams, it's about fixing the issues that popped up in the New Orleans Saints game. When I've seen the Rams for most of the season, I thought this defense had an opportunity to be pretty good. Here we see John Johnson matched up in coverage. Uh, eyes are right. Everything's corrected. The communication is great. Makes a play, undercuts George Kittle, comes away with a turnover. These are the things that we've come to expect from the Rams. But in the last couple of weeks, first against New Orleans and then against the Green Bay Packers, we haven't seen the communication. We haven't seen the discipline and detail that you expect. Here we see this is – a tough route because the formation makes it really, really difficult to get on Alvin Kamara. Kamara comes at one-on-one, -on -one, wins on the outside. That is hard for anybody. They have to do a good job of banjoing, communicating how you're going to handle both of these guys coming out in a tight situation like that. But it goes beyond that. It is about simple stuff. Here we see Marcus Peters down at the bottom of the screen. Look, he just has to match up. He has to hold on his own. Doesn't play as tight as you would like him to play. These are the things that we typically expect the Rams defensive backs to be able to do. The pass rush doesn't get home. They need to be able to cover in the back end. It's been an issue, something that I think they will resolve this week. Well, they need to get it resolved. They need to bounce back in a big way, but they are going to be at home in this one, Buck. Who do you like? I like the Rams in this. I think the Rams get back on track. This is the perfect recipe for them to win a game. Seattle comes in a little more one-dimensional on offense. I think it gives their defense an opportunity to tee off. I think they play well. I think they get to win. Yeah, this uh, Seattle offensive line is built to run block. If they're in a position where they're down early and chasing points, I think you'll see this Rams pass rush get heated up. I'll go with the Rams as well to get it done at home in a big divisional game. All right, for more Move the Sticks videos, you can go to NFL.com slash MTS video or YouTube.com slash NFL. We have three Move the Sticks podcasts we drop each and every week. You can find those on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app. Click here to subscribe to the NFL YouTube channel and, and click here to subscribe to the Move the Sticks podcast.